My name is Dr. Adam Farber, and I would like to present to you a video today showing a partial meniscectomy for the treatment of a bucket handle medial meniscus tear. In order to best understand this video, you must first understand some normal knee anatomy. The knee joint includes the thigh bone, called the femur, the shin bone, known as the tibia, and the kneecap, called the patella. Between the thigh bone and the shin bone, there are two soft tissue shock absorber cartilage pads, known as the meniscus. The meniscus on the inside part of the knee is called the medial meniscus, and the meniscus on the outside part of the knee is known as the lateral meniscus. If the thigh bone is removed and the shin bone is viewed from above, you can see how the meniscus are shaped like the letter C and follow the outside curvature of the surface of the shin bone. Meniscus tears can occur in a variety of different patterns. A bucket handle tear refers to a long, linear meniscal tear that results in an inner C-shaped flap of meniscal tissue that can flip either in or out, much like the handle of a bucket, as seen in this picture. For orientation purposes, when the arthroscope is placed into the medial compartment of the knee, the femoral condyle is seen on the top of the monitor, the tibial plateau is seen at the bottom of the monitor, and the medial meniscus sits between these two structures in the middle. Initial inspection shows that the front of the meniscus is unremarkable, the cartilage of the femoral condyle appears normal, and the cartilage of the tibial plateau appears normal. Further inspection in the back shows a tear in the posterior portion of the medial meniscus seen here. Here is a still photograph showing the meniscal tear outlined in the red oval. A probe is then inserted to assess the stability of this tear. You can see how easy it is to displace this flap of meniscus tissue into the joint. When the meniscus moves in this manner, it will cause symptoms such as locking and catching, which were experienced by this patient prior to surgery. Here a probe shows the attachment site at the front edge of the tear where it inserts onto the normal meniscus. After the attachment site at the back edge of the tear is cut, the front attachment site is then cut in a similar fashion using an arthroscopic scissor type device seen here. Next, a grasping device is used to remove the entire bucket handle meniscal tear fragment. After the displaced bucket handle fragment has been removed and the loose debris is cleaned up, the remainder of the meniscus is stable to probing with no residual loose unstable flaps of tissue. Here is a still photograph showing the fragment of meniscus that was excised from this patient's knee. This image shows the area of the meniscus tear on the left and the same area after the bucket handle fragment has been removed on the right. This concludes arthroscopic partial meniscectomy of a bucket handle meniscus tear. Thank you for your attention.